I am Raven, aka the Gee Man. On his bipolar journeys, journeys to the valley of the shadow of death. Depression, the little death, the little grim reaper that beckons you to come to death. But I'm not suicidal, that's not what I'm saying, it's just really strange stuff. And I, uh, I had something to say before I turned anything on here, and now I forget what I was going to say. It's all chemistry. It's all chemistry, man. You know? The fragility of the chemistry. I am definitely so disabled right now. People don't believe me. On the outer shell, it looks all good and fine and dandy, but inside, it's empty. So numb that it's empty, you understand? There's part of me missing, you understand? You don't, nobody understands. I scream out for help in desperation at times, saying there's something wrong, and nobody's listening. Maybe because I can't even really put it into words what exactly is wrong. My whole personality has changed. I mean, strangers inside me. I'm living the life of a stranger. That's what lithium has given me. The biggest mind fucking history. Invasion of the fucking I don't know what. Saying that, but I know it's not nobody's fault. It's not nobody. I'm, try, I'm not blaming nobody. It's just it's a precarious, fucked up situation. I mean, I, the lithium is fucking wicked. It's a gift. It's a curse. It's both. It's insane. There's peace, but there's too much of it. I'm scared to be alone because when I'm alone, I'm really alone. My thoughts aren't even with me anymore. I've gone from an extrovert to an introvert. Just some fearful little man. Warrior to win. What is this pill that does this to me? This is all speculation, by the way, in case you're wondering. I'm not trying to get on anybody's toes, I'm trying to express myself. karaoke circles I'm known as Raven. Dark hair, dark glasses, dark clothes usually. Anyway, when I'm on stage I feel normal. When I'm singing I feel normal. Apart from that, sometimes I feel good. When I'm with friends I feel good. When I'm alone, 
Max Distrug, and there's lots of alone time in my new place. I live a little out of the way from downtown, and uh, I have a few friends around. I had a friend drop in last night. I had a friend drop in tonight for a visit. That's pretty good, but still, there's lots of alone time. Even in my head, I'm alone. You gotta understand that. You know how you sit around and think? Well, my thoughts are not pleasant as they used to be. They're not as creative as they used to be. They're not as positive as they used to be. Sometimes they're downright depressive, and I don't even like hanging out with myself. So hanging out with somebody else would distract me from this. Right now, the camera is my doctor. I'm talking to my cyber doctor that doesn't exist. But I'm also talking to other bipolars. Those who've been on lithium, those who know what I mean. I'm crying out to you. Can you help me? Can you help me out there in cyberspace? I went through a drastic change on lithium. And that drastic shift has left me shaken. I feel more disabled now than I've ever felt in my life. I can't even read right now. Take my new glasses and I can't even read. And I was in a course at the time. What a joke. come a long way, but we have even further to go, that's for sure. But what is it going to take, what kind of therapy, intensive psychotherapy to make me believe that it can work? But I need proof in my own life that I'm not going to be crying on the job site, that I'm not going to be taking fits of rage on the job site. Once that happens in my personal life at home, then I can carry it forth to the job site. But until then, I have a little dignity and I don't want to be a public spectacle crying on the job site. Oh, thank you. I'd rather do that in my privacy, my own home. My friends, my doctor, my friends perhaps, but even that's dangerous because depression repels people. And then you realize you're surrounded by no one in an empty room with an empty head on the table. Can you take that? And they call this normal. Most of the delusions are all gone, the spiritual delusions are all gone. Now I follow a religion that best describes who I am, what I believe. But anyway, I should probably cut this video short because it's getting lengthy here. So I'm going to top it off now, folks. This is Raven, aka the Gee Man, on his bipolar journey, saying peace out, stay real, and stay alive.